Okay, here we are. We've got Ivan with us today. Oh yes, bonjour. And we are checking out the bees. So the first thing that we'll do is light our smoker. And I filled this with some dry, some dry leaves. Still have yet to art to master the art of lighting the smoker. What's a smoker do? It forces them inside. Yeah, this the smoke. They'll think that there's a forest fire, so they'll actually start eating their honey in preparation to leave the hive. Okay. But the honey makes them slow and lethargic. Oh yeah. The other thing it does is uh, um, confuses like it, it masks their pheromones, so they can't communicate. So those two things together. Um, calm them. Puffing it away, getting a nice hot fire in there. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to shove some, uh, some greener grass on top. that in with the hive tool. Sorry. Oh yeah. That's still a bit warm, but <laughs> lots of smoke. So I'm gonna close this up. I'm just feeling it with my hands to see how hot it is. And then I'm just gonna smoke a little bit in the entrance. Also going to take off. So this is the uh, this is the top cover. Underneath the top cover, there's an inner cover, and uh, it uh, it stops stops the bees from sticking the cover to the to the top of the uh, hive. So I'm just going to lift this up slightly and poke and smoke a little bit in there, and we'll put it back down and just let it sit for a minute. You should start to see some bees and they use propolis which is like a bee glue to stick on the uh, the cover propolis is oh look at that so there that we go nice lots of bees I want to take a picture of that too sure yeah my camera. so yeah we've got lots of bees on the inner cover not that many on the uh, top but we added this box last week so that's not so bad So, there's a few bees on this one, but you'll see they this haven't, that? this is just foundation, so they haven't really drawn it out yet. Actually on the side here, they, you can see they've glued it to the side, or they've, they've expanded it to the side, so that's all new. Oh, okay. The stuff that's actually touching the sides oh, yeah. is Their new. Oh yeah, stuff. Yeah. Is that plastic? This is unwired natural uh, beeswax. So, now all I'm going to do... So that's some other bees? Yeah. You can see down into the hive there. Second layer. Um, since there's not that much drawn out foundation, it's unlikely that the queen will be on here. So I'm just going to kind of go through this pretty quickly. Yeah. So, so this one, you can see they've started drawing it out. There's a little bit at the bottom there too. So at this point... Did you get all these bees or were they born? Oh no, these ones would be born. That's crazy. Yeah. So how, how long are they, how old are they? Um, oh, I see, like right there you mean. Yeah, that's that's kind of burr comb, it's called. Yeah. It's not really part not of the... Orderly. Yeah. So these ones, I don't know, they could be a week old. Really? They could be, like a lot of them are just... Uh, um, these might not be foragers, these will probably just be... Um, nurse keepers. bees and stuff so so this is all draw this is awesome because this is new as of not last week so these are all new babies kind of um they could be okay there's like one when more. you got your bees shipped to you 
Did you just get a queen or did you get... Oh, we got about 10,000 bees oh, really? shipped. Oh, okay. And, uh... So was this more bees than you had? Oh, yeah, definitely. Or... Ooh. That's not good. Okay. So, we have a little bit of a problem here. If you can see. The, uh, I tried to pull these two frames apart and they're stuck in the middle. The unwired foundation seems... Oh, look at these bees. Yeah. Um, seems to have connected up. So this could be a little bit of a disaster. And... Will it wreck the whole comb? It may. The unwired foundation has kind of collapsed in onto the wired. And I'm afraid that when I take this out, it's going to be a bit of a disaster. Okay. Maybe not. So, oh, this... Wow. This frame is a little bit uh, wonky wonky and ruined, as you can see. Will and they rebuild that, do you think? They'll definitely rebuild it if I take it out. I'm just wondering if I should uh, cut out the wonkiness. And that's probably what I'm going to do, because it looks like it's, looks like it's uh, collapsed and not very straight. <laughs> it's kind of facing. That's okay. Okay. So I have a knife. This might be a disaster, but uh, what I'm going to do... Take this off your hands. I'm going to cut out the uh, a big section of this comb because it looks like it's going sideways. So if you want to come around this way, I'm going to... I'm sure they won't like this very much, but... Unless I can just push it back in. <laughs> Actually, I'll do this right out in front of the the uh, the hive because they'll pick up this honey and the wax, and they'll, re they'll, and they'll rebuild it. it. They'll use it to rebuild. There we go. So I've just rolled that out the front of the uh, hive. You can see there's already a bee on here, and she's licking up the uh, the honey. So it won't take them very long to to get back in and uh, start rebuilding this comb. I just want to make sure that it's nice and straight. You can see the honey on it. Yeah, that's tasty. You alright? Yeah. You know. I think they might be starting to get a little bit agitated, but we'll put them back. So this will send them back down. That's good and smoky. Nice and smoky grass. Okay, so I just want to pull out this plastic one here. This is a plastic foundation, so this one won't have the same problem with drooping, but uh, you can see they've built out a little bit far on that side. But with the other one open, this might actually, uh, you might be able to repair this. So they're busy at work, lots of honey in there, uncapped honey. So when it's time to harvest the honey, what do you do? Well, we're still a little bit of a ways from that, but uh, you just basically what you typically do is uh, you'll have capped, you'll have capped honey, and you can um, scrape off the caps and spin it in an extractor. So oh, yeah. I'm going to replace everything here. And it actually just leaves them enough room to uh, to walk on either side. Okay, and then we put in this one last because it was the first to come out. Alright, I'll just 
push these all together. So they should have been in the first place, but that was our mistake. When we added the box, it was kind of in a rush. That's it. Well, they've hopefully found a good home when there's, where there's no uh, opening at the top. Yeah. So you can watch them now. They'll just all march back in. So we have some uh, bees out front. And they're just fanning pheromones, saying, this is where you come in. Because I booted a lot of them out onto some, uh, some comb out front. And you see the other workers, they're all just marching around and they'll just come right back in the front where they're supposed to. So they know what they're doing. It could also be to cool the hive down a bit, but I think in this case, since there's so many of them and they're all marching back home, I think they're telling each other where to go.